Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Today we will learn from page number 24 to 25. Unit number 4, negative and interrogative sentences. Students, today we will learn how we can change a simple sentence into a negative sentence and then we will learn how we will change the simple sentence into interrogative sentence. In negative sentence, we will use not and in interrogative sentence, it is a question sentence and we will learn how we can make a simple sentence into a question sentence. First, we will learn how we can make a simple sentence into a negative sentence. Okay, children, what we do, we use not in negative sentence as shown in the example below. Not mean negative, not mean negative, no or not mean negative. We put not in a simple sentence and it will become our negative sentence how let's see how we can make it first simple sentence ali is playing cricket it is a simple sentence and it is telling that ali is playing cricket it is a simple statement that what is ali doing ali is playing cricket it is a simple statement okay how we can change this simple statement into a negative statement or into a negative sentence. Negative sentence. Ali is not playing cricket. Simple is Ali is playing. And negative is Ali is not playing. Ali is not playing cricket. And children, there is a rule to apply not. And what is the rule? That after is, we put not. After helping verb, we put not to make a negative sentence. Okay, so then in this page, I have made a table of helping verbs for you. You have to keep these helping verbs in your mind that whenever these helping verbs are used in the sentences, what you have to do, you have to put not or no after these helping verbs to make and I know children you already know you all have already learned that what are the helping verbs what are the helping verbs is are am was were has have had will shall would could may might can could these are helping verbs and it is very simple you just have to keep the Keep in your mind that after helping verb, what you have to do? You have to put not or no in the helping verb. What you have to do? After helping verb, you have to put not in the after helping verb. Okay, first one is, is, is not. Is, is not. Are, are not. Are, are not. Am, am not. Am, am not. Was, was not. Was, was not. Were, were not. Were, were not. Has, has not. Has, has not. Have, have not. Had, had not. Will, will not. Okay, see then. In first column, there are helping verbs, and in the next column, there are helping verbs with not. Okay, and it is very simple. You have to keep this table in your mind. You have to keep, keep this point in your mind that whenever there is a helping verb in the simple sentence, you have to put immediately not after that helping verb, and then it will become your negative sentence. Got it? Okay, what is the rule? The rule is after helping verb, we put not. What is the rule? The rule is after helping verb, we put not or no to make a negative sentence. Okay, let's see what is on the next page. 
Question number one. Change these sentences into negative sentences. Question is that we, some sentences have given to us and what we have to do? We have to change these sentences into negative sentences. Okay, sentence number one is, he is cutting a small block of wood. He is cutting a small block of wood. Okay, children, now tell me which helping verb is used in this sentence. Is. Yes, is is used in this helping verb, in this sentence. And is is a helping verb which is used in this sentence. He is cutting. And how we can make it in negative? He is not cutting. He is cutting. He is not cutting. A small block of wood. We have to add not after is. He is not cutting a small block of wood. Sentence number two. I am making a wooden ball for you. I am making a wooden ball for you. And which helping verb is used in this sentence? Am. I am making. I am not making. After helping verb am, we put not. I am making. I am not making. I am making. I am not making a wooden ball for you. Sentence number three. Our master was a good and kind man. Our master was a good and kind man. Okay, which helping verb is used here? Yes, was. Was is a helping verb. And with what we have to do, we have to add not or we have to put not after was. Our master was not a good and kind man. Our master was not a good and kind man. Okay, students, whenever you write sentences, keep this thing in your mind that you have to write the first letter of the sentence with capital letter. And at the end, what you will put, you will put full stop. Then it will be our complete sentence. Now moving to next page. The sentence number four is, the children were building sand castles. The children were building sand castles. Which helping verb is used here? Were. Yes. The children were, the children were not. The children were, the children were not building sand castles. Sentence number five. Their fathers are fishermen. Their fathers are fishermen. Which helping verb is used here? Are. Yes, and after are, what we will do? We will put not. Their fathers are, their fathers are not. Their fathers are, their fathers are not fishermen. Okay, moving to next statement. Sentence number six. I have a precious watch. Which helping verb is used here? Have. I have a precious watch. I have not a precious watch. Have is helping verb here. I have, I have not. I have, I have not a precious watch. Sentence number seven. The shopkeeper had mangoes. The shopkeeper had no mangoes. Which one helping verb is here? Had. Yes, had is a helping verb in this sentence. So what we will do? We will put not after had. The shopkeeper had mangoes. The shopkeeper had no mangoes. The shopkeeper had no mangoes. Okay, so then what we did? We put not or no after helping verbs. And in this page, were not, are not, have not, had no. And keep this in your mind that you will write the sentence with capital letter and at the end, you, of the sentence, you will put full stop. Now moving to next page, statement number eight is the rich man has lots of wealth. Okay, students, now tell me which helping verb is used here. Yes, has. 
the rich man has and what we will do we will put not or no after has the rich man has lots of wealth the rich man has no lots of wealth the rich man has no lots of wealth has has no has has no okay sentence number 9 is moise will tell an exciting story to us moise will tell will is helping verb and after will we will write or we will put not moise will not moise will tell moise will not tell moise will tell moise will not tell an exciting story to us okay now number 10 is the flock of geese will fly over the pond the flock of geese will fly over the pond okay children which helping verb is used in this sentence yes will and after will we will put not the flock of geese will fly the flock of geese will not fly the flock of geese will fly the flock of geese geese will not fly over the pond okay children moving to the next page now in this page we will learn how we can change the simple sentence into interrogative sentence okay children in through interrogative sentence interrogative mean question interrogative mean question okay in the sentence in which the question is asked that is called interrogative sentence interrogative mean questioning sentence interrogative mean questioning sentence in in the sentence in which the question is asked in the which the question is asked is in an interrogative sentence okay children listen carefully and keep the points in your mind okay we use question mark okay as you know whenever we write question what we do we put question mark at the end of the sentence and i know you know all you know that that at the end of the sentence whenever we write question we put question mark okay children now the rule number 2 is how we can make a simple sentence into help into interrogative sentence it is also very simple and we have to what we have to do we have to take out the helping verb from the sentence and we have to put that helping verb at the start of the sentence okay let's see how we do it okay helping verb in the in the start such as shown in the example below okay simple sentence is ali is playing cricket ali is playing cricket it is a simple sentence and children as we did in the previous question we put not after helping verb but in when we make interrogative sentence what we do we put helping verb at the start of the sentence what we do we put helping verb at the start of the sentence interrogative sentences okay simple sentences ali is playing cricket okay which helping verb is here is which helping verb is here is is ali playing cricket is ali playing cricket i of is capital and ali a is with capital letter a with capital letter because ali is a proper noun ali is a proper noun and whenever there is a proper noun we always write proper noun with capital letter whether it comes at the start of the sentence or in the mid or at the end we always write proper noun with capital letter okay children is ali playing cricket after cricket we will put question mark because it is our interrogative sentence it is our question sentence so we put question mark at the end 
Okay, children, you have to keep two points in your mind. What are those? First, you have to take out the helping verb which is used in the sentence. Okay, you have to take out, you have to write that helping verb at the start of the sentence which is used in the sentence. And secondly, what you have to do, you have to write the question mark at the end of the sentence and if any helping for any proper noun is used in the sentence you will write that proper noun with the capital letter and you will write the helping word with capital letter because now it will become the first letter of your sentence so you have to write the helping verb with capital letter Now, our question number two is change these sentences into interrogative sentences. Okay, in question number one, we change the simple sentence into negative sentences. And now we will change the simple sentence into interrogative sentence. What is the rule to change the simple sentence into interrogative sentence, students? Yes, the rule is we will take out the helping verb which is used in the sentence but we will do we will take out we will write helping verb at the start of the sentence and then we will put question mark at the end this is simple you have to just keep this thing in your mind that you have to take out the helping verb and what are those helping verb i have shown you those helping verb in the table what were those? Yes. Is, are, am, was, were, has, have, had, will, shall, would, could, may, might, can, could. These are the helping verbs. And what we do? We take out or we write the helping verbs at the start of the sentence. And then we will continue to write this full sentence. And at the end of the sentence, we put question mark. Got it, students? Okay, now we do the practice how we can change the sentence, simple sentence into interrogative sentence. What is the meaning of interrogative sentence? Questioning sentences. In the sentence in which the questions are asked, that is called interrogative sentences or questioning sentences. Okay, first one is, my mother is cooking food. My mother is cooking food. This is simple that my mother is cooking food. Now I have to change it into interrogative sentence. I have to make it a question. Okay, what I have to do? I have to take out the helping verb. Yes, and which helping verb is here? Is. Yes, my mother is. Yes, is is helping verb. Okay, is my mother cooking food? Is my mother cooking food? Question mark. And I of is capital. I of is capital and my am small. Because I is now first word of the sentence. Is is the first word of the sentence and we write I capital. And my is the second word and we will write, write am with small. Because my is a pronoun. It is not a proper noun. And my and small is my mother cooking food my mother is cooking food is my mother cooking food question mark is my mother cooking food question mark number two the teacher was teaching the students the teacher was teaching the students okay which helping verb is used here? Yes, was. Was is a helping verb. And what we have to do? We, have, we will write was at the start of the sentence, at the beginning of the sentence. Was the teacher teaching the students? Was the teacher teaching the students? And children, 
don't use that helping verb again in the sentence when we write the helping verb at the start of the sentence at the beginning of the sentence we will not write that helping verb again in the sentence it will be a big mistake okay okay do your work very carefully the teacher was teaching was the teacher teaching the teacher was teaching was the teacher teaching the students question mark and was w capital and t of the small sentence number 3 the boys were watching television the boys were watching television which helping verb is used here were yes and what we will do we will take out were and we will write it at the start of the sentence were the boys watching television the boys were watching television were the boys watching television question mark were the boys the boys were were the boys we will write were at the start and w of were capital and t of the small and at the end we write question mark now moving to next page our statement number 4 is the policeman was running after the thief the policeman was running after the thief which helping verb is used in this sentence students yes was was the policeman running after the thief was the policeman running after the thief was we will take out at the start was w capital t of the cap small and then at the end full question mark the policeman was running was the policeman running okay sentence number 5 is the mother dog has built a nest the mother dog dove is a bird the mother dog has built a nest okay which helping verb is used in this sentence yes has has is a helping verb in this sentence and what we have to do we have to write the helping verb at the beginning of the sentence to make it interrogative sentence yes h of has capital has the mother dog built a nest the mother dog has built a nest has the mother dog built a nest question mark has h capital and the t of the small and at the end of the sentence put question mark whenever you write these sentences keep three these three points in your mind you have to follow to write when you write the sentences you have to follow these points that first letter of the sentence should be capital and we are making interrogative sentences and we are writing helping verb at the start so you will write all the helping verbs with capital letter and then you will make t of the small and then at the end instead of full stop what you will put you will put question mark because you are making the questioning sentences you are making the sentence in which the question is asked and so you have to put question mark at the end of the sentence okay now our sentence number 6 is the girls have dolls the girls have dolls which helping verb is used here have okay have the girls dolls the girls have dolls have the girls dolls have is helping verb and it will come at the start of the sentence h of have capital have the girls t of the small have the girls dolls and at the in the end of the sentence question mark the children will take part in the race the children will which helping verb is used here will yes will is helping verb and what we will do we will take out the will and we will write will at the beginning of the sentence will the children take part in the race will the children take part in the race and at the end you will 
put question mark and pin W capital and the T of the small. Okay, now our statement number eight is we shall go on a picnic this Saturday. We shall go on a picnic this Saturday. Okay, which helping verb is here? Shall. Shall is a helping verb and we take out shall and we will put, write shall at the beginning of the sentence to make it interrogative sentence. Shall, S of shall capital. Shall we, W of we small. Shall we go on a picnic this Saturday? And Saturday, children, Saturday is a proper noun. You know, children, all the names of the days are proper nouns and we write proper nouns with capital letter. So you will write Saturday with capital S. We shall go. Shall we go? We shall go. Shall we go on a picnic this Saturday? Question mark. Okay, the last sentence is the king had many brave knights. The king had many brave knights. Knights mean soldiers, brave soldiers. The king had many brave knights. Okay, which helping verb is used in this sentence? Had, yes. Had is helping verb and what we have to do? We have to take out the helping verb and we will write had with H capital at the start of the sentence. Had the king many brave knights? Question mark. Had the king many brave knights? Question mark. Okay, children. What we have learned now? Okay, two things today we learned. Today we learned two things. First one is we learned that how we can change the simple sentence into negative sentence. How we can change the simple sentence into negative sentence. We put not or no after helping verb. We put no or not after helping verb. And then we learned how we can make the simple sentence into interrogative sentence. How we can change the simple sentence into negative sentence. And what we have learned, we learned that we have to take out the helping verb at the start of the sentence and at the end of the sentence we put question mark okay we take out the helping verb we will write the helping verb at the start of the sentence and at the end of the sentence we will write question mark to make them interrogative sentences okay children that's all thank you allah hafiz